And I've got to say, in all honesty, um, it's the biggest piece of dog shit. So, the past week has been quite exciting for boxing. We saw AJ make quick work of Francis Ngannou. Those aren't the topics that we will be discussing today. We'll be discussing this mess. I'm just gonna say it straight. This fight should not be happening. Even though that we see training footage of Mike Tyson looking really good. However, he is close to 60 years old. We don't see the other things. How long does it take for him to recover? How long is he resting between rounds? This affects his training. Never mind the fact that because he is older, the cervical vertebrae degenerates as you age. So, you know, punches to the head, it's not a good idea. Well, they were never a good idea to begin with, but you know, now it's just worse. But then we see Jake Paul. You know, not too long ago, he literally said that he wants to face the best. Older people, started with basketballers, then it was wrestlers, then it was mixed martial artists. So now he drags up Mike Tyson. He's six-year-old against a 60-year-old. It's, I don't know, I don't float my boat. These are one of those fights, which is like an 80s or 90s action movie, where the names on the cover or on the poster sells it, the product. Mike Tyson is a legend, and Jake Paul's got a big fan base. But that does not justify Jake Paul fighting a guy, even a legend in the sport of boxing, who is 30 years older than him. It's absolute madness. One thing that should be mentioned is Tyson's health issues. There have been times where he's been seen in a wheelchair. And using a walking stick. Good to see you, brother. You're looking good, Mike. Is he in better health now? Possibly, but it doesn't mean that he's still not very injury prone. You become more injury prone as you get older. And this just seems like one of those things that Jake Paul's doing for, you know, clout. Because his brother Logan has fought Floyd Mayweather in the past. <laughs> Now he needs to attach his name to a legend. Everybody would like to say, yeah, I fought Mike Tyson. Well, definitely not in his prime. Rivera almost stopped it there. Mike Tyson's known as a great finisher. Let's see how he does with Ferguson. Was in trouble in both the first and fifth rounds. But the fight's been announced. Is it going to happen? Things can change last moment. But then also, once the tickets have sold, what's the rule set going to be? Mike Tyson is, <laughs> once again, he's not a young man anymore. Are they going to change the rules to accommodate him? Are they going to have a no knockout clause? Are they going to make it two minute rounds? Are they going to make the rules stricter where uh, TKO can be defined by less unanswered punches? Obviously, they would like to change the rules to accommodate Mike. And considering the type of person that Jake Paul is, do you think that he's not going to actually try and, you know, hurt Tyson? I actually see a smug face now just saying, yeah, I was the last guy to drop Tyson. At the end of the day, this fight is being made because it will sell tickets. Because Jake Paul's last event, uh, people are just losing interest. But maybe he should fight up and coming fighters in the division and stop, you know, going for MMA fighters. Other athletes outside of combat sports. Nope, dog is, is singing the hymns. He's trying to get and those who are retired and way past their prime. We wouldn't have had a fight this year 
And I first and foremost want to say thank you to Anderson. He was my idol growing up. He inspired me to be great. Man, it's a surreal. People will definitely pay money to see Tyson in action again. Because he was always exciting to watch. To be honest, this fight shouldn't be happening. It's a joke. Jake Paul should be fighting up-and-comers in the division to prove himself. But he's moving away from that. He's doing all this entertainment BS. And he says he wants to be the best. People are going to lose interest in Jake as a boxer if he carries on like this. And he'll never really segment himself as, you know, a legend. Maybe just a good entertainer. But what else do you expect from a former Disney kid? And that's the end of our video. I don't want to discuss this travesty any longer.